recently I have had so much good shit so much good makeup you know the type of makeup that you get excited about like i've been craving sitting down and filming this video just wanted to play with that new makeup so that is what this video is it's a first impressions brands are really starting to come out with some new releases which is cool it's kind of refreshing to see right so new products in here some bits that have been chilling in my makeup collection for a while let me tell you you need to stick around you need to stick around because this makeup look that's on my face right now all new makeup. When I tell you that I have found products that are going straight in my makeup bag. Like I've already put them in that bitch. The makeup as well is so easy guys. I just wanted to do something kind of soft glam and wearable. We've got like a really soft eye. Fresh skin with like the rosy popper blush. The nude lip. It's pretty and I feel like a lot of you guys would rock it. And it's easy to do. Anyways, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> you need to watch this video man. Because you're not going to be disappointed I promise. Your bank might be. But you won't. Right, brows and brow products. We all know that I'm a little bit... Uh, in particular the vision for my brows is always the same okay i like that laminated glued down stuck down dried down brow and listen baby i've dabbled okay i've dabbled and i've tried other products but just nothing beats this everything this shits on everything in the past i've tried soaps and waxes and they just don't tend to work for me i feel like they don't dry down enough and i don't get that hold throughout the day i find that they tend to droop fall down having said that i am going to be using a soap today now if i am disappointed i'm going to be blaming every one of you you have been telling me that this is like top tier and supreme when it comes to brow products i'm ready to be swept off my feet and if i'm not if this isn't as great as you make out to be like i swear i will come to every single one of your houses like, and I will tell you off personally. <laughs> this is the product that I'm talking about. It's by Pink Honey. Now, they are kind of, like, known for their brow products. This is the original Super Hold. It says bubblegum. Does it? Oh! Oh, my God. It does kind of smell like bubblegum. Interesting. I'm not sure why I would need that for my brows. But I'm not mad. I mean, it smells good. Full cool concept. Can you see that? There's, like, a hole in the middle. So, you can put your spoolie in and actually get the product. Soap products like this, you do need to activate with some type of liquid. I always use a setting spray. So, I'm just going to wet my spoolie. And I assume we just wiggle it inside. And then you'll begin to gather the product. I'm going to tackle this how I always do. So, we're just going to start to comb this product through the brows. Combing it through from the front all the way to the tail of the eyebrow. I'm trying to get them as flat as I can. Oh, my God. Is this fucking working? One technique that I found really, really helps. Guys, there's a crap ton of product in there that you kind of can't see right now. Where we're combing through, obviously we're picking the product up at the same time as applying it through our brows. But if you twist the spoolie, you see all that product that's now on my brow. I can either use my finger like this to really smooth it through or you can re-go over with the brush. Run the spoolie along the top. This is what I always do to shape my brows. I'm impressed with that. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky or greasy. Wait, wait, wait. Like I don't wanna be gassed too soon, but you see that, right? One thing I will say that I am noticing, I almost see, I don't know if it's picking up, with you guys but like i almost see like a cast on my brows almost like residue -y. i think she does do colored ones as well maybe that's why colored waxes so that they don't do that but there is a slight sort of like gray tone to my brows only ever so slightly nothing crazy i do see it though in comparison to my other routine never forget to take a wipe and get rid of the residue that is on your skin around your brows otherwise when you apply foundation you'll notice it will stick to it and kind of look a bit flaky and weird do they or do they not look good for that like laminated brow effect. I think they're wicked. We might be onto something here. Now this same company does do brow filling in products. So that's what we're gonna use. Let's do a whole pink honey brow. I have here either the Wonder Whip, which I think this is like a pomade, or we have the Wonder Whip pencil. Now normally I would gravitate towards a pencil. I don't normally use a pomade. So I think we're gonna try that just for the shits and gigs. Oh my God, that is fucking adorable. It literally is like a little honey pot. Look at that. That is so stinking cute. And then, yeah, it's a little pomade. This is in 03 medium brown. Hopefully it's not too warm, but we'll see. In terms of brushes throughout this video as well, I'm actually going to be using these from P. Louise. So this is the Trash Talk brush collection. So it comes in like a little trash can. P. Louise, babes, one thing I will say is I feel like the brand itself so unique has its own aesthetic i feel like it stands out from a lot of brands for that their entire concept is wicked i mean look at the packaging of this it's bonkers no matter who you are i feel like if you are just getting into makeup or you're an expert i feel like p louise you'll be able to find something in there for you anyway p louise i hope that felt good because i just sucked your dick <laughs> basically in here is a ton of makeup brushes majority eyes so i will be using some of my own makeup brushes as well but i'm going to be using these where i can not to spoil it but i will i will like them i own a couple and i use them all the time so this is her 7072 brush and i'm going to use this to carve out my brow 
I'm trying not to drag this product down too far because I do have an eyeshadow base that I'm gonna use. Now taking a P. Louise 125 brush, which I feel like is gonna be perfect for this to kind of fill in because it's so fine. Coat the tip of the brush in a little bit of product. With super light pressure, I'm gonna start to fill in some of these gaps. Pomades are the one eyebrow product to me that you have to go really light handed with, otherwise they can look really harsh. Let me try do some little brow hair strokes at the front here. This product isn't too creamy or wet either. It allows me to have control, which is nice. I feel like pomades and stuff, it's all about technique, you know, fill in the gaps rather than color in. And I can confirm that products are sticking to this soap brow nicely. Some brow products I've tried before, the product almost doesn't attach, doesn't dry down and it keeps that sticky residue. Products won't apply on top. This is nice. I have a feeling though that I am gonna prefer the pencil just a little bit more. Oh, and it's a nice sort of like thin retractable as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna prefer that one a bit more. I can tell there definitely is a bit of a grayish tone to my eyebrows though from the wax because this, this pen is looking darker than it normally does on me. Guys! I think we actually have a successful brow. Before we do eyes, we are going to, of course, prime them. And we've got this to try. This is chunky. What is this? Make a revolution super base. This one is for the boys with the boom. Sorry. That doesn't say much. There's not even a color or anything. It just says that it's an eye primer. Oh, that is light. I think I need a prayer. It's good to have a light base when you're using color and stuff. Because obviously it will allow the pigments to show up more. But Jesus. Actually, that's not too bad. I mean... You know what? This is actually quite thin, like quite liquidy. It looks like it's going to be thick, right? Just because of the applicator and stuff, but it's not. I won't set it or anything so we can see how it really works. It's not giving as much coverage as say like my P. Louise would or a concealer, but I'm not mad either. It's done the job. I mean, let's see how pigments blend on top. The palette I'm going to be using today is this one from Beauty Bay. This is their Book of Magic palette. Oh man, that is so nice. That color story is beautiful. Matte shimmers the lot. I mean, I've not tried this particular palette from Beauty Bay before, but I have tried previous ones from them and they're fab for the quality to price is mad. I'm going to be kind of boring today and I'm not going to dip into the color. Don't hate me. These neutral like brown type shades here look perfect. Maybe the black as well. I feel like they're such a nice tone so that's what I'm going to dip into today. It's actually quite nice to show like a more colorful palette how you can use the few neutral shades in it as well and get the most out of a palette like this but the entire thing looks amazing. I feel like when you get brush sets these type of brushes are always missing out. You know the really small precise brushes. They still blend because they're fluffy but they're more detailed and precise. Look how many of those type ones you get in here. I feel like these are literally the only eye brushes you need. <laughs> Starting with the P. Louise 115 brush. This is the color we're going to be dipping into. This color, I'm actually going to take it quite high and start to buff it like above my crease, more just under my brow bone. Just creating that sort of like arch here. Dip back into that color and I'm going to take it on the outer corner as well. Blend that out. It seems to be blending out beautifully. And then kind of like join the two together and then just blend it all out. Nice. This is a nice starting shade to be fair. Shape's been mapped out. Like it looks nice. Smaller brush now. This is a 118 manifest right here. She is loaded up. I'm going to focus this on more of the outer corner. Then with small circular motion start to sort of blend that into that first color we used. Almost using this color to kind of just like deepen everything. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush we used and use that to kind of blend the two together. Everything seems to be blending out really nicely though. There's no patchiness. I was expecting nothing less though from Beauty Bay, quite honestly. I'm telling you, quality to price. I wanna keep this look really simple by the way because I wanna use one in particular product, but first we need like a little bit of a base. Now I'm gonna take this P. Louise 7071 brush, which is like a big flat puddle, puddle brush. Paddle. Taking Vanish, which is this light type of cream shade. In a corner, all the way around towards the outer colors here. This shade is a little bit chalky, but lighter colors like this kind of tend to be. I mean, the more you sort of pack it in, the smoother it does look. I'm just gonna take a thin brush we used earlier just to blur out those edges. But it's nice now because it's set. As you can see, that um, Make Revolution base started to crease. Really love that palette. I can't wait to kind of play with all the colors in there because it does look beautiful. Right, now that that's done, we are going to do a bit of like a liner type situation, but I'm gonna be using one of the P. Louise bases to do that. I've always used this as like your main bulk of color, but never as a liner. Pretty sure I've seen on the P. Louise page that you can use these as liners. So we're gonna try it. This one looks beautiful. This is in the color Keeping It Khaki. It's like a green brown. Give it a shake. Always do that with your P. Louise bases. Some of the colors separate, so you just need to make sure they're mixed. Popped a little bit of that on the back of the palette. <laughs> Basically just start to stamp that on like I would an eyeliner, but I'm not gonna wing it out though. I'm gonna leave it with the blunt edge. Wipe off any excess on the brush, and then I'm gonna use that to start to fade this out. Now, because this is obviously a liquid, like a cream, we should be able to get a blend on this quite easily. Let me take a clean brush and just start to buff away these edges into the colors we've already got down. Yeah, 
nice. That is blending out like an actual dream. It hasn't disturbed any of the eyeshadows that are down. It's nice because we've still got the shape on our eye. You can see we've still got that sort of thick liner here, but the edges are buffed out. I'm not going to set this yet. I'm going to see if it dries down. And if it doesn't, maybe I'll go in with like a translucent powder or something to set it. But obviously P. Louise bases, they kind of naturally not sets on the skin, but it naturally sits on the eye nicely. Um, I'm chuffed with that. These, the bases as liners is a success. I'm going to hop off camera real quick. I do the same thing to this eye and then we can stick on the lashes together. For lashes, I am going to be using some from P. Louise. Their lashes look beautiful. When I think of P. Louise, I don't tend to think of eyelashes, but here we go. This and by the way, I'm using quite a bit of P. Louise because they did kindly send me a package and it's my most like recent stuff. Anyway, honestly, they all look lush. Like it's so, <laughs> so hard to choose. Let's go for these ones because they're like fluffy, but more winged out. These are Bill Please. Here are the lashes close up, by the way, just so you can see. I am just going to chuck on any odd mascara because I'm just, I don't care. I'm about to cover up lashes anyway, so... I'm just gonna whack some on. Hey, this mascara is actually really nice. I've not used this before. <laughs> Suddenly I care. What is it? Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I'm liking this. I feel like I'm gonna have to use this on its own one time. Wow. Wow. I think I'm obsessed. Do you know what? I love a lash and I feel like there's a certain type of lash that I get gassed about. This is that. The tie where it flares out at the end. It's nice and fluffy. It doesn't cover up an entire eye look. It just adds to it, transforms and just completely finishes itself. What are these called again? Bill Please. So easy to apply as well. Like look, really, really nice, easy lash band sticks down done i'm not kidding this is the type of lash that i would go out and repurchase because i feel like when you find that specific lash you are literally glued to it the rest of the eyes like underneath and stuff i will of course finish up once we've done skin i mean listen the eyes have turned out pretty good but what about the skin this product that i'm about to use as a primer guys i'm going to be honest this is expensive however apparently this product has been out of stock for six months apparently people went crazy for it and it's like a primer base or just like skin type of product lures it preps your skin it basically should give me like a new face that's what i'm expecting it's by claire de pew <laughs> wait no that was I don't know, it's some type of crazy brand, right? But it's the Correcting Cream Veil. It's got SPF 25 in. It says it can be used like under makeup as a primer or just like as a skin product. They describe it as a universal skincare primer that instantly diffuses dullness and blurs skin's imperfections for a smooth, refreshed look, finish, finish. Right, honestly, that sounds like exactly what I'd want from a base. Let's see if this is worth the pennies. Guys, I think this is like a 55, 60 pound type of primer. Not really too, Whoa! okay that's a lot that's literally like five pounds okay let's blend this into the skin do you know what it actually just feels like a moisturizer almost i'm not the biggest fan of the smell i don't hate it it's quite perfumed feels nice and lightweight not too heavy it's got a little bit of a cast i'm assuming that's maybe the spf blended out beautifully i thought it was gonna be thicker for some reason i don't know why but it's actually more of like a liquid consistency it blended out easily am i tripping or is that genuinely kind of like smoothed my skin let me zoom you in for a sec i don't know if you guys can see but i feel like there's almost like a layer on the on the top of my skin even on its own just without makeup like say you were just using it as more of like a skincare product i feel like it has left the skin with a nice finish let's wait for foundation i feel like once we've got that on we can see how well it has blurred i mean am i just saying it because it's expensive that it, i don't know we'll see for foundation we're going to be trying out this one from huda beauty this is the new faux filter luminous matte so it's still a full coverage liquid foundation but it just has a different finish the original one is quite like matte i do have oilier skin but even sometimes i like something with a bit more glow to it just so it isn't so like thick and matte looking. This type of finish can sometimes look a bit more like natural for a full coverage foundation, even though full coverage is not natural and by any stretch of the imagination. Got the colors Tres Leches. Don't laugh. And Amaretti. Amaretti looks a bit more sort of golden, so I might go for the first one. Apply some to the skin. And then I think I'm actually gonna blend out with a sponge today. This is the Cash Beauty one, which is beautiful. Lovely for foundation, so obviously it gives the foundation a fair chance. So let's just blend this in. Okay, instantly. <laughs> instantly, like, everything's just covered. Okay, one thing I'm noticing straight away is this actually blends out a little bit easier than the original. The original's quite thick, so you get, obviously, like, even with a sponge or a brush, no matter what method you use, you, you kind of feel that on the skin. Not in, like, a bad way. I like that foundation, but I don't know. This one I can feel is different. I mean, look at that, like, thin layer that... I applied. I had some breakouts down here and they're gone. Do you know what? I don't even think I need to go in with a, another layer or anything like that because to be honest, it has covered 
beautifully. Let me zoom you in so you can see my skin texture properly. It's actually a really lovely color as well, but you can see nothing has clung. It's full coverage, but personally, I don't think it looks heavy at all. I mean, obviously it's not a no makeup makeup type of situation, but I feel like it looks really, really lovely. I wonder if that base underneath helped as well though. What's this called again? Luminous Matte. Do you know what I was about to say? I can definitely see this settling more on my skin and looking less glowy. You can still see though there is it's almost like a satin finish. Onto concealer, Anastasia Beverly Hills actually has a brand new concealer. I'm pretty sure this is no. Magic Touch Concealer is what this is called. This one is in shade six and it just has a massive applicator. One sec, let me just read up the claims of this so I know what to expect because honestly I have no idea about this. I feel like I've heard no one talk about this, so let's just look quick. This lightweight liquid concealer works to brighten blur and cover imperfections, blending out to provide a medium to full coverage with a luminous natural finish. Offers a seamless blending and comfortable wear that resists creasing, oxidizing or caking and it's infused with moisturizing ingredients. That sounds, that sounds nice. That sounds great. I quite like the big applicator. I feel like it's gonna cover a nice area and you won't have to dip in like a million times. I'm gonna apply this not only underneath the eyes, but also down the center of my face to brighten and highlight. Taking my concealer brush. By the way, I had so many questions about this brush in my ultimate like glam makeup look. It's from Morphe 2. So is the foundation brush. Those two brushes, I think it comes in like a, like a kit, like a face brush kit. Really lovely. I feel like they're such a good like size, so. Just gonna use this to tap this into my skin. Sometimes a brush is nicer over a sponge because I feel like it helps to keep the coverage. Sometimes it depends on the concealer. I do go back in with my sponge afterwards just to make sure it's fully melted into the skin and everything looks seamless but I feel like it just blends it out beautifully. That concealer is quite nice. Definitely more of like a higher coverage concealer, like medium to full for sure. Yeah, this concealer is a little bit more sticky. So I am just gonna go in with my sponge. Any concealer that kind of has that texture, I feel like definitely needs a sponge to, yeah way nicer at the end there. See how this side looks more like part of my skin now. Some concealers, they are a bit tacky and I feel like they do work better with a sponge. Tell you what, that is a nice full coverage looking base. Like look at that skin. We did not come to play. You know what? Those two products together look really lovely, that foundation and that concealer. Cream bronzer now and I am using something other than my Primark contour stick. I'm feeling crazy. Another product here from the brand Pink Honey. This is their bronzing face frosting. What color is this? This is in cookie butter. Hopefully it's a nice, oh yeah, it's a nice warm. It looks quite dark, but let's see how it blends in. You guys know me. I do like something that is a little bit more on the warmer side when it comes to cream contour. I kind of like it to add the life and the color back into my skin. I don't mind more neutral, more warm. I just don't like more cool, but this to be fair, seems like this has got quite a nice warmth to it. We're just gonna start to tap this onto the skin. Okay, she is pigmented. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. I might place it down with this brush and then go in with a clean one to help blend it out. We'll see. A little bit down here. Wow, okay, you literally do need the smallest amount. I feel like this will last you a lifetime. Finding it super easy to blend out. It's got a nice texture to it as well. You know, it's not too like hard or it's not overly creamy. It's like that perfect in between. You know what? That is a really, really lovely formula. Really lovely formula. And you guys know I love my cream like bronzer contour. She's nice. She's nice, I have to say. I'm quite impressed with that. Allow me to just pop a little bit on my nose as well. This is what I would normally do. I do this with my Primark stick as well. I always use it to cream contour too. I mean, yeah, the nose contour is what I meant. Yeah, I would definitely pick that up and use that again. Like I really would. That's a nice cream contour product. Cream blush. I'm actually gonna do something that I've been seeing all over TikTok. People have been using P. Louise bases as cream blush. I'm gonna use Winter Rose as mine. I feel like that's quite a cute color. And I'm gonna use one of the P. Louise brushes from the set. This is 638. Load this up and then I think I'm gonna go kind of just onto the back of my hand and just make sure that the product is evenly distributed on the bristles. That way you get more of an even blend when you apply it. To be honest, there's no reason why this shouldn't work. Tap at the top of my cheekbones. That's where I like to put my blush, but you put it wherever you like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's lush. Use on TikTok really be onto something here, honestly. I mean, to be honest, it's not like revolutionary in the sense of like, why don't we think of that sooner? But the reason why I do like it is because where that's a base, if you think about it, this will set down almost, right? So you've almost got like an extra layer of like longevity on your skin. You only need a small amount of that as well. And quite honestly, that is blended beautifully with the other products. If anything, that looks better than a lot of cream blushes anyway. I... That is going in my makeup bag. Glorious. 
love. I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't actually have any new powders to try. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Banana Baking Powder. I just bought a new one of these. When I tell you I have missed this powder in my collection, I've just been using other powders that I have, right? I ran out of this, was using those, but to be honest, I miss this one. This is so good. This is what, like four or five pounds? It does smell like bananas in the beginning, which makes me want to die a little bit. Baby, the scent don't stick around, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I am gonna use my sponge as well to apply this onto my skin. Let's do my normal routine. I'm gonna fly through this just because you've seen me do it a million times. One quick thing I wanna say, yeah, look how much you can still see my blush underneath. A lot of the time when I use a cream blush product, by the time I put powders on, I have to go in and reapply or use like a strong blush just to kind of bring the pigment and the color back but you can still completely see this through where this is obviously more of like a stronger hold. I'm skeptical about this bronzer. I feel like Benefit did Hoola bronzers so well that I'm not sure how much more you could do. I don't know, but this is the new Benefit Hoola Glow. So this is the original formula, but with a glowy type of finish to it. I'm hoping it doesn't make you too glowy either. Sometimes I find that if a product's too glowy, especially a bronzer, it can actually look muddy. It has to have like the perfect amount. Do you know what I mean? Starting off with quite a matte cheek. Let's just go in and see if this works. I actually don't normally use Hoola as my bronzer. I'd use Hoola Caramel, not the original. Sometimes I find the original Hoola to just be a little bit too cool for my skin tone. I like to use this for my nose, but not necessarily over my entire face. But I mean, this side compared to that side, I can definitely see a difference. And if I tilt my head, you can definitely see a sheen. I feel like this is one of those products that personally I would prefer more as like holiday skin or even as a topper as opposed to my general bronzer if that makes sense. Just to add a slight glow on top of everything that I've got. Good thing is you could definitely get away with it because it's not crazy glowy. It does just add like a soft sheen to the skin. But me personally in kind of like everyday use, I would just use it at specific moments. Maybe on like a night out if I wanted to kind of add a bit more of like a dewy glow. Do you know what? This is actually quite a nice product it is not ott at all i can picture putting down my original bronzer and then using this as like a light topper on the skin to kind of deter away from anything being too matte this would be perfect <sighs> times like this i literally want to just die honestly i hate technology like i just want to punch it square in the face i just lost some audio footage i think it stopped at bronzer and since then i mean look i pretty much look complete. I did do highlighter and I did finish off underneath my eyes and add my little faux freckles. I mean, thank God it wasn't worse than that. This was the highlighter I used, guys. I am obsessed, spoiler alert. I mean, let me just zoom you in a bit so you can see the way that this looks with the other products on my skin. But can you see how this highlighter has just like melted in to my skin. No shadowing, no masking, no nothing like that. It's just kind of like melted into the other products on my skin and I love it. It is a little bit pricier because it is a luxury brand. It is by Dior, but I've said this before, Dior is one of those luxury brands that I would go out and spend my coin on because I think they have some really good products, including this little guy here. So this is their brand new highlighter. It's the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer in Nude Glow, which this is like a champagne one. They do have a gold, no they don't, they have a pink one. Zero Two Pink Glow is what this is called. You can see it's just got like a nice pink hue to it. I'll apply a tiny bit more so you can kind of see just how great this product is. This is actually quite an intense, like look at that. That's crazy. A brand like this, I don't know why, I just associate them with more of like soft glam products, but they've kind of did something with this. Such a great formula. I feel like it looks great, great on the skin. I really love that. Underneath my eyes, I didn't do too much, guys. I used a pink liner, which these liners are great, especially for the waterline. Not all liners attach well to the waterline. This one does. Here it is. It is the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner. This is in the color Boots. The Beauty Mark, like faux freckle things that I do, I do it always with my misguided brow you doing brow marker pen. Final step is lips. I'm gonna make sure we're recording because I'm about to. Mm. New little combo today. These are products I've not tried yet. So this is the Vive, which is Jamie Genevieve's brand. Modern lip definer in the color Rumor. Okay, right off the bat, that is so pigmented and it just glides through. Really, really lovely formula. I mean, color's quite nice. It is more of a like purple toned brown. Personally, I do prefer more of like a, like a chocolatey kind of brown, but formula's nice. Lightly coloring in the edges, just so the product I put on in a sec blends a little bit easier. I can't not use these. I've been dying to try these, but obviously wanted to wait to film this video. This is the P. Louise Lip Bases. Achieved the perfect power. Hydrating formula, and apparently it stays put all day. Now, these two colors look right up my street. We've got Solo Nude and Stark Naked. I'm tempted to mix them. Solo Nude looks like it's got that more like peachier tone to it. Stark Naked, 
is just unreal. <laughs> but it's got more of that like lighter, orangey, almost like concealer color in the best way. Let's start with Solo Nude and then we can add this one on top. I'm just gonna use my finger. Oh, they smell unreal. They smell like vanilla. Grabbed a little bit of my finger. I'm just gonna pat it onto my lips. That's a really cute color. I'm gonna take a bit of Stark Naked though, just in the center. This looks quite light. Tap it in. They blend on so easily, by the way. Kind of don't feel like anything on your on your lips. Okay, those, the lip bases, I love those. I think I could have gone with a more chocolatey brown lip liner. It would have looked better than, than this one. The color combo is a little bit off, but in terms of like products separately, they're lovely. Dries down matte as well. It's like a comfortable matte though. I kind of want to try this combo with this lip liner from P. Louise. It's called Standards. Yeah, that color looks a bit more chocolatey. I feel like that will go a little bit better. Let me take this off and apply it with this and then let's see. I'm gonna blend that on my lips with my Cash Beauty Rust Nude lip liner as well. If any of you know a really nice chocolate brown, like a warm brown lip liner, please do hit me up. Let's try this now. Oh yeah, already that's way better. Okay, that to me, way better. Touch of gloss to finish off. I have had these in my collection for a while, but I haven't used them yet. They're by Maybelline. Are they the filler glosses? The, no, the lifter gloss. I believe it's a plumping lip gloss and it's got hyaluronic acid in. This one is in the color 002 Ice. I picked this one because it looked the most sort of colorless. Ugh, lipstick all over my retainers, lush. Oh, hello. Look at that gloss. I mean, they have hyaluronic acid in, so maybe that's why they feel so like smooth almost and so shiny, but look at that. I use the smallest amount and look at my lips. Unreal. This has a great formula. It's not sticky at all. It's not thick. If anything, it kind of has that more oilier lip gloss consistency, which is my favorite. Amazing shine, feels great on the lips. What more could I ask for? I wonder if it does plump. It doesn't feel like anything now. Normally plumping kind of starts to tingle. It's cute. Final step is setting spray. I'm excited about this because I love the Milk Hydro Grip like primer. This is a setting spray version. So we're gonna see how this goes. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Alcohol free and it says to shake well then spray. There is actually two parts to it. I don't know what each part is. So you've got this like green type of top to it and then it's like blue. Oh nice. It's a nice sort of like fine but like wet mist. I like to feel the setting spray on my skin. When it's too fine, I almost feel like, what's the point? But it's gotta be fine that I don't feel like I'm drowning. <laughs> I think that's everything done. That is it, that is this first impressions done. When I tell you I have found some absolute gems in this video, I have found some gems. Like makeup bag, everyday makeup bag worthy. As per usual, I will list everything down below of what I've used and I will put a star by everything that I absolutely like loved, like a must have. Yeah, that's it, this was a chill one. I love just sitting down and playing with makeup. Like it's fun, you know? I love you and I will see you all very soon.